Okay, guys, here's the deal. There's two things that we have to consider today. One is, are we going to use the invisible spell with skeletons and a rage spell, or are we going to use the lightning spells and earthquakes, which is what we've already been using most of the time since before this update, and it's actually been working pretty well. But there's actually pros and cons to both of these uh, spells and tactics. And in today's episode, we're going to figure out which one's better. So guys, here we go. Yo, what is up you guys? It's Gods of Dudes. That's actually the first time I've used that. But guys, hopefully we're getting settled into this new kind of feel that I have on my channel. I've actually, you know, been off to the side a little bit, trying to get things set up in the background so that I can release it today right before Christmas. I'm a little sad that the update came out way before I had planned it because usually Supercell doesn't bring out an update until like middle of the month of that holiday. But now that they've done it, you know, right at the beginning of December, which is unheard of, um, I'm forced to go ahead and show my hand now. So guys, here I am. So let's talk about what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the invisible spell and the lightning spells, which is more viable and which one would we use practically in a match. Now, you know, the thing is, I've actually seen these spells used as uh, three star potentials. They do have potential for three stars and they are cheaper. Now, what do I what, what does this mean? The lightning spells, you would have to use seven and an earthquake spell to take out the ego artillery and the CC to take those out. The skeleton spells, you could use three of them with a raid spell, which would be about five. That's about five spells there. And then you could use one invisible spell. That's a total of six. So we're actually, you know, gaining two extra spells if we do this type of strategy. But is it worth it? The skeleton spells, they're able to take out at least one building before they all go down if there's a lot of weaponry on them. Whereas the lightning spell or the zap, they're able to take out a lot of buildings around if they're not spread out. So this could be perhaps something we could investigate here, which is more viable and which is more beneficial. Guys, I have a three star. I'm going to show you and we're going to try and dissect this together. So let's go. OK, guys, so here I am. I'm inside my base and this is the army that I need to edit here so that we have the right troops. As you guys know, we have the new invisible spell. Let me go ahead and just see. If uh, two is all we need, I think we're just going to manage it that way. And let's go ahead and get three of these skeleton spells with a rage spell. Now, this actually should do it. If we're going to get rid of this, the poison, this is all we should need. Or even less. It should be like that. That's uh, the equivalent right there is six. Six spells. I've seen people do it in just that amount. So let's save it and let's go and see if we could take this uh, CC out check it dudes this is basically what people are aiming for right here so let's just put it in we're gonna do a raid spell whoa so that's a problem you have to be really careful what you're aiming at there okay so we definitely have to learn the radius of that spell because if you don't know the radius and you accidentally touch the building you want with it that could be a fail so let's try that again okay so the radius i'm thinking is about five tiles let's just test this out we're gonna put a rage spell yeah so it's about four to five tiles and the skeleton should be good to go. They might be able to get all of that without too many dying because they do have a shield before they go down. So there's only one more thing we could do to try this out for real, for real. We got to go in and we got to try and take out these Teslas. Or sorry, these uh, Infernal Towers. Teslas. Those aren't Teslas. Those are Infernal Towers and those are probably like the, the business. Right? So let's just do it one more time, dudes. Okay, guys, here we go. We finally got it. And, you know, I just noticed, I forgot about this, the uh, skeletons don't even alert the CC. So we're good on that. I mean, if we could do that without alerting it, man. Here we go. We're going to do it. Uh, we're going to try and take out these two Infernal Towers. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah, 
We're looking good. Oh, yeah, dudes. Look at that. Oh. So not quite strong enough to take out... Well, it is lots of... Um, lots of weapons are near. So this is actually kind of tough for the skeletons to take those out. But they got really close. That was super close. So, in my opinion, guys, if these skeleton troops are like surrounded by lots of weapons it's a little more difficult but how does this work with uh, the lightning spells we're gonna try that out let's go okay same thing but we're just gonna try and hit all these weapons here and we pretty much know the outcome wow we did it in less we did it with like just six lightning spells so you know what Six lightning spells would actually do the same job unless we're going for like the big weapons over here, which would take seven. So you have to kind of be mindful of that. Is it better to do, you know, this type of strategy where it's a little more risky and you could accidentally hit the, you know, weapons with the invisible spell? Gosh, there's a lot to consider here now that we have, you know, this new spell. Is it better to go for it or not? Um, only time will tell, guys, what the meta will, will be. But let's see how one of our teammates actually used this strategy inside of an attack and three-starred with it. So let's do, let's go, guys. Okay, dudes, here we go. We've got, check it out, three skeletons, a uh, invisible spell, and a rage spell. That really works. But... This is the thing. Is it worth it? Because, you know, you could just use uh, the lightning spells to take out some of that and maybe even more. I guess time will tell if that's how we're supposed to use it or not. But I think, in my opinion, perhaps going for the town hall would be key here. All right, Royal Champion's in. She's taking out the uh, air defenses and the eager artillery. We're going to take that out before it activates. There's just a lot of possibilities that we have to consider here, guys, with this new meta stuff. But I can tell you what, with the with the spell actually hitting buildings as well, it's hard to say which ones or how this is going to work out because I can see a lot of fails if we accidentally hit the building with the invisible spell that we're targeting. Eee! Grand Warden's ability? No. Balloons are going down. There we go. All right. So we definitely have to try this out. I'm going to try this again and see what we can do to make this more concrete here. Very nice three-star. We'll just finish this up. Watch the three-star at play here. A little Christmas attack. Very cool. Not bad. All right, guys. So good stuff. There we go with the three star. Let's see if we can do some other attacks here. Let's go back. Okay, bro. So check this one out. We have a base here, and I think this is going to be interesting if we could take this out because the town hall, as you can see, it's separate from a lot of other stuff, but I've never actually tried this before. Are we able to take out a town hall with uh, the same strategy? Where can I drop this spell? It's gonna be one, two, three. I think if we're gonna drop it like right on that air defense, that might be the radius that we're looking for. So let's try it, dudes. Oh man, no way. Yeah, they are definitely not strong enough to take out a town hall. Bummer. But, uh, shoot guys, I have no clue. We could try to take out that Eagle Artillery. Maybe that would work. Oh, there's just so much to think about here. But let's try it. Okay, here we are. We've got the Eagle Artillery in sight. I think I might have to drop the uh, invisible spill right there on the air defense. That should be the radius that we're looking for. But let's try it, dudes. 
Rage spells go by super fast. Okay, so we missed. We missed our first uh, invisible spell, but I think even with one, that would have been it. With one invisible spell, that would have been it, and we could have taken out the uh, Eagle Artillery on its own. So, guys, there's just a lot of things to think about here. All right, bro. So, you know, in my honest opinion, I think that both the invisible spell with skeletons and the lightning spell with earthquakes actually complement each other. With the skeleton spells, if buildings and things are spread apart, that lightning spells can't really target because, you know, of the radius with the lightning spells, then I feel this could be beneficial for the skeletons and invisible spells. If they spread them out, take them out. <laughs> now, with the lightning spells, if everything is compact, it's probably better to use lightnings with an earthquake because you're taking advantage of that radius inside of the zap lightning spell. And guys, I think, you know what? Only time will tell how players use this combination, but I feel I'm gonna be using it. So dudes, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Godson. Be sure to check me out on the next episode and I will see you guys there. Godson out.